This is a great picture of the gospel. It's a great picture of the Great Commission. Just like Moses, the Israelites were in captivity. You live in a land, you live in a world where people are enslaved, not to a world power, but to a cosmic power. Enslaved to sin, hell, death, and the grave. You live in a world that's in captive. And if God's redeemed you, that means he took the initiative and you decided, ah, yes, Jesus, I'm yours. You're my Lord and I'm your servant. And that meant that, that when he saved you, he sent you. He saved you just like Moses to send you. He gave Moses a great commission. And just like he gave Moses a great commission, he's given you a great commission. Go to Egypt, to Pakistan. Go to Bangkok, to Brussels. Go to California, to Alabama, to work, to school. Go to your neighborhood, to your home, and redeem the captives. I'm going to do it. And just like Moses, you're going to go, oh, I don't have the ability. Oh, I don't know enough verses. And God's going, you think you're all that? You think this is about you? This is my story. This is not, get over yourself. This is my story. This is my story. I will be with you. I, you can't save anybody, but I will. You can't mess it up. That's the beauty of it. You can't fail. Success is being obedient. Success is being obedient. The saved are sent. And listen, it wasn't the burning bush that's important in this story. That's just how he got, got Moses' attention. It wasn't the burning bush. It was the word of Jesus that came out of the bush. And God has given us his word. And his word says, go. And his word is our supreme authority. He's the Lord. You're his servant. Moses had an experience with God at that bush that radically altered his life. Here's what I want you to know. If you've been changed by Jesus, then your life has been radically altered. And I will say it this way, if your life has not been radically altered, you've not been changed by Jesus. Now, I'm not talking about perfection. Oh, that, that is nobody perfect. I sin every day. I mess up, screw up. I sin every day. I'm not talking about perfect. But if the direction of your life has not been radically altered, how you think has, it doesn't come out of a Christian worldview, growing more and more to be like Christ every day that you want to live for peace and unity when it's all possible, that you want to lay down anything that would cause harm to your ability to share the gospel and to live for the glory of God, when you don't strive for purity and holiness, when you enjoy sin and when you enjoy it, you probably don't know Jesus. You need to come and talk to us about that. You need to come and talk to us because if your life has not been radically altered, then you probably don't know him. And we want to help you. We don't want to give you a false security of the fact that you, because you were baptized, you are good with God. We, we want to help you to understand who God is. And we want to help you to know that if you're saved, you're sinned. If you're saved, you can't say it enough. If you're saved, you're sinned.